and welcome to the Triple Day Show with your host, me, Triple Day. This is episode 2 of series 7. Alright, just before I actually get into this video, I would just like to thank Big Sam Allardyce for, um, for securing Sunderland into the Premier League. And hopefully, we'll do better next season. So thank you, Sam Allardyce. Alright, so I've got CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays and other stuff to get through. Alright, so first off, I got Disturbed's latest album, Immortalised. Um, yeah, I've listened to um, Disturbed quite a lot and I've listened to this one and it's um, it's actually very good actually. It's actually very good. I, I, I just love it. Alright, next I got... Fall Out Boys, uh, I think it's their latest album, American Beauty slash American Psycho. Yeah, this um, this album has got one of my new favourite songs on here, which is called Immortals, which was used in the film Big Hero 6. And um, it's a digiboot um, version, but um, CD is like, actually inside there. So that's that. <coughs> Alright, next... DVDs. Travelling to the past here now. I've got Daffy Duck, uh, which is from uh, Looney Tunes. Now, I actually wanted to get um, a Looney Tunes um, DVD because I have not seen it in seen them in ages. So I thought I might as well get one. But I was in a bit of a like uh, decision where like I either want to, do I either get Bugs Bunny or do I get Daffy Duck? I went for Daffy Duck in the end because he was a, he's a bit more funnier than um than Bugs Bunny. Yeah, so that's all the other episodes that are on the back there. So yeah, so that's cool. Sorry, Ooh, move the camera a little bit. Sorry about that. All right, next is a sequel to an original. Well, a sequel to an original. I got Evil Dead Two: Dead by Dawn. Yep. Um, another good Sam Raimi film. I don't know what it is with Sam Raimi when it comes to sequels. Um, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. Really great. A great follow-up from the first one. And the same with the second Spider-Man film. A really great follow-up to the first one. Alright, next I got... Disney Pixar Shorts Volume 2. Um... So yeah, this is um, Pixar shorts um, that were made. Some of them you can't even find on um, DVDs. Like um, there's one in particular here, which is like um, that one there. That one, which was a, uh, I think it's like with them Buzz Lightyear and all that. Um, time travel meter that cannot be found on um, the DVDs. Or the blue rays of the other ones. And anyway, yeah, that's that. <coughs> Next, I got um, another Marvel film. I got The War for Ring. Yep, this is a follow up from X Men The Last Stand. So if you haven't seen it, give them a watch. I know some people criticise this for being like M. Bad. To me, honestly, it wasn't that much of a bad film. Like, uh, some people say it is, but it's not. So, that's that. Uh... Alright, next is Blu-rays that I got. Alright. First off, I got I Am Legend starring Will Smith. Yeah, this is like um, a... As you could say, like an apocalyptic film, which like um, the whole entire of um, New York City has been like... Um, Totally just gone. Um, by day, nothing happens. But by night, that's when the zombies start to come out. That's when you start to hear, like, strange sounds and all that. And then later on in the film, you actually get to see them. <laughs> like, ooh, let's go. Alright, this one, I was very excited to get because I, I haven't seen this one in the cinema. But I got it and watched it loved it. I got 
Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. And as you can see, i got the light side um, slip use cover. Now I have actually seen both the slip case covers, both the dark side and the light side. But all honesty, I went for the light side because I know that the majority of people have went for the dark side one. But I'm staying with the light side because I'm part of the resistance. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Next film I got is The Expendables 2. A great follow-up from the first one. Um, I don't know if I want to get the third one, to be honest with you, but I've been hearing um, some things about the third one, which is not that good. Second one, however, much better than the first one. Why is it always that sequels do, some sequels actually do better than the originals? They put them a lot of thought in there, right? That's what it is. Anyway, moving on. Next, I have The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. I was a bit disappointed in this film, like, where they had to, like, replace his wife. Well, where they had to replace, like, um, that Brandon Fraser's character um, with um, another actress. I wish the original actress who played his wife, honestly enough, was still in it. If she was, she would have been, um, it would have been um, about the role. But, other than that, it had a really good storyline to this one. Even though I was disappointed there wasn't a follower from The Mummy Returns, but... Other than that, that's alright. Alright, last out of the films, I got Disney's The Muppets. Not The Muppets Most Wanted, just The Muppets, right? When I heard that they made them a comeback, um, I thought like myself, like, yeah, well, they're making them a comeback. Say, so like, oh, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Watched it. Loved it. Yeah, I did love it. I did love it. Um, basically, it's a story of, like, um, how they went from big shots to then zero. And then after that, they shot straight back up. Well, that's that out of my blue race. Alright, now we go on to the other stuff. First off, I got um, another keychain. Um, I got another Sun on the FC keychain, but this is of the Black Cat, uh, which is what you would say on the side of the Black Cat house. Um, that's near the stadium. I got this gifted um, by, to me by... Um, uh, an individual who used to work at the stadium, but then when I went to wear a match, that was his last day. And honestly enough, I kind of thank him enough for giving us that, so thank you for that, dude. But that's cool. Alright, next, well, last, we'll move on to the plushies that I got. I've only got three here, so let's get to it. First off, I got Ellie Fink. Um... Yeah, from Zootropolis. Um, I have seen clips of that film. Um, I definitely want to go and see it. But if I don't see it in the cinema, I'll definitely get it on Blu-ray. So, yeah. If you don't know who Ellie Fennig actually is, um, he's a fox, which is like dressing up like it's an elephant, who's meant to be Nick Wilde's son. Um, but... He's more along the lines of, like, I'm a con artist. So, if you just take that down there, there you go. That's the fox. But the only trouble is this thing doesn't even come off this hood. It's all right, though. But other than that, he's a really good character in the film. It's all about. All right, next, I got this. Um, this is a camouflage bear from um, Build-A-Bear, um workshop down in the match or something i wanted to get this one because um it look it looks awesome it, it it just looks cool it does actually so yeah it's got the original marking of lion builder bear and then um, the tags on the back there 
Sin Build a Bear Workshop. So yeah, I got this one and he's really cool. There you go. Alright. And last and final item that I got at the plushies is this elephant that I got from Anne Bernardo's. Um Strangely enough, I just actually spotted this like at the corner of my eye and I thought like, yeah, you know what? I might as well get it because it looks awesome and um, yeah, well, I do like elephants, hence why I've got Elephant Ink and um, Elephant Ink and um, some Sum for. So yeah, so that's that. Alright, that, that was the last part of the stuff so obvious enough this has been hang on a minute look is it nice anyway that has been the trouble day show episode 2 of series 7 don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come up now they're coming up share this video like it and um and follow the links that are in the description down below them as well. So, all I got to say is, PEACE!